Good afternoon, actually. It's been like a long morning. I've had the kids and I've been just doing some bits. So it's a late start, but that means a late finish because there's still a lot to do. Today, I'm tackling some of the basement pointing. I know you love a pointing video. I love it and it's going to transform in there. Alright, so I know a lot of you have heard this before, but I'm going to point this wall using a lime mortar mix, which is a lot better for the walls than concrete. So it's breathable, which means it can take in moisture and expel it without being compromised. And the good thing about this is it's going to stabilize the whole wall, and that's like the main aim when we come to do the floor above, which is technically the ceiling. We're going to have to knock all that out, and I don't want big bits of wall falling out. So it's going to stabilize the whole thing, make sure everything stays in place and just be better overall. So yeah, luckily this doesn't need too much prep because the cement was just falling off the wall. So I'm going to wet it down, make my mix. Just get on. Okay, I'm just going to make it start. Do you know what? This is actually one of the jobs I really enjoy and I'm actually, I don't want to beat my own horn here, but I'm pretty good at it now. All right. Right, well that's one mix done. Now don't be discouraged. I know it looks messy at the moment. That's the whole process. It's gonna get better and better. I've got to leave this to dry out for a little bit. Then I can do the first brush off, second brush off, neaten up. It's a longish process, but the end result, trust me, it'll look nice. <laughs> Nah, not yet. It's gonna take ages to dry down here. 
going to be a long night. I think we're about there. So I'm going to attack this one a little bit differently. I'm going to beat it in with a hard brush and then I'm going to use these masonry sponges to just wipe over it because normally I just take care to expose every stone because it's like a decorative thing. But above all with this wall, it's a structural thing. So I just want to make sure it's all covered, all sealed. It'll still look nice, but yeah, I think that's the way to go. Never done it before though. Well, it's actually starting to look pretty good, to be fair, with the sponge technique. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for this to dry and then I'll wet sponge it all off. Tomorrow I can just scrub the faces with a wire brush, make them pop. <coughs> Okay, well that's like over half that wall done. So tomorrow, hopefully that's that full wall done. And it's hard to see with the light because it's cast in shadows, but the finish is actually really, really good. Super good, super smooth. And this is what I was after. Properly sealed around every stone. Yeah. Like I said, it's a job I love doing and I just love the finished results of this. Well, it's going to take a while to dry, but it's going to dry like bright, brilliant white. So it'll brighten up the space, but most importantly, it's stabilise the wall. And that's the main thing. All breathable, exactly what this basement needed. Anyway, I'm going to pack up here. I'm going to get home and get so much to eat because, well, it's late now. But the chateau looks amazing again to see it lit up. See ya. Uh, tomorrow.